Once upon a time, there was a group of students from over 60 countries who were transported through the magic of wallet emptying flights to a small island in the Pacific Ocean, Taiwan. Home to bubble tea, they used to be the world's tallest building, lush green spaces, and 200 newly arrived students from Minerva University. Our story begins along with the sun's rise and ends when the clock strikes midnight. No, this isn't Cinderella, but some do describe this life as a fairy tale. It's 10 a.m. I had just woken up and 7.20 a.m. 2 p.m. right now, I'm finally awake. Good morning. It's 8.09 a.m. I have a meeting in one minute. I'm so tired. I I'm gonna make coffee. Cheers. My life is a mess today. <laughs> it's Wednesday. I have uh, two assignments due on Friday. Um, and my room looks like a trash can. <laughs> I think I'm working all day because sometimes that's the Minerva experience. <laughs> so I'm about to head out to the National Taiwan University. I just woke up. I still look very tired. And I'm gonna bike there. We have easy bikes here in Taiwan, which are so easy because they, they're everywhere. So you can just go anywhere and you can park it anywhere. And usually, because there's so many people here in the rest, this shit is empty, but today it's full. So I can go to the gym cycling. start to think back to November 9th. I remember that it was super sunny and it was one of the first sunny days after that like month of rain and like just very gloomy weather so I was like super happy. Sunny days. That's sunny so good. Days. I have the same amount of work, same amount of problems as I did yesterday but because it's sunny and the weather is nice I put up my hammock in the park. Oh man. It's so good. If it were sunny like this all the time, I'm convinced that everything would be so much easier. <laughs> I love that there's a countdown. Alice! Death! Hi. Where are we? We are in the NTU hospital. Whoa. And what are we doing here, Steph? To see Alan do Me? science. Me? Science. Neuroscience. Yep, let's go. So Michael Trade Merchant is doing research. I usually go four days a week and I spend between three to six hours every day. So Alan's Minerva and Day exists in a hospital. Yes. What? My love research experience with Minerva is zero. Basically, we didn't have any lab in Korea or in San Francisco. Uh, so really having this opportunity uh, it's amazing, so I really like the fact that NTU allowed us to do that because I really thought that uh, Minerva wouldn't let us do research like in our entire four years and it was going to be very sad, but it's not the case, luckily. I've always been into science, like in general, uh, especially like chemistry and biology, uh, but before I've been to a lab, I was not sure if I wanted that because that seemed like so sophisticated and like rigorous and I was like yeah maybe not my thing but in my school I had like a great relationship with like my biology and chemistry teacher uh, and we had labs in my school I usually used to spend like a lot of time extra hours like after class with them in the lab and that's how I kind of like started liking it as far as I know I am the only undergrad uh, in in my lab specifically we have one PhD student two postdocs one master student uh, 
and the professor. So this is the pad of a rat. And here you can see all the nerves that are in the skin. The lab like on top of like just like being a nice experience that I could put on my curriculum is actually something that I really learned. And like I also got a certification for it. So my friends who got the nutrition issues, they're more proactive in the things that they want and they actually get to do what they love to do. kind of long walks that I take throughout the city by myself are urban hikes. It's my time where I get to go out and I move my body and I get to think and observe the city around me. It's a great way to just like see the day-to-day -day life of the people, the architecture, the food, the like movement of traffic and it's just beautiful to walk and see how life works here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How are you today, Ashen? I'm doing wonderfully. Now we just explored this somewhat wow. abandoned, beautiful uh, cemetery. Yeah. Um, in which there's kind of a combination of like Buddhism, and Taoism, and Christianity, Christianity in all of the graves, and it's the most incredible combination of like this odd kind of like structured layers with all of these beautiful trees kind of growing in between and crazy bamboos and flowers and there's like fish you're writing an art analysis assignment right now you're narrating it as an art analysis happy flowers well, on my way to library i stopped at this beautiful pond that uh, ntu has at its campus and see turtles I don't know why I get so excited every time I see turtles You can see that someone lost their student ID here in the pond <laughs> Like it's underwater there Fishies And turtles It's almost necessary now that whenever I go on a walk I buy myself a boba it's really hard not to because they're only a dollar and they make me so happy so there's really no reason for me to not buy them. I am meeting my social science assignment partner in 15 minutes which means that I have 15 minutes to get some emotional support boba. What are you feeling today in terms of boba? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> I usually prefer boba with fresh milk instead of milk tea. Uh, oh like latte? No, it's not latte, you're being like lost. Oh my god! <laughs> fresh <laughs> milk. <laughs> Bobo is fresh milk. Happy one day! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes! Yes! Slay! I have this beautiful shirt that I really hope says something like National Taiwan University, but um, it might just say, I'm an idiot and I can't read Mandarin. Ni hao, wo jiao tai di. Jin tian shi xin qi san. Let's go. Cafe time. Ah. Yeah, probably. your class starts in what, like 20 minutes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to find somewhere for you to take class. Yeah, we'll figure this out. We'll figure it's this out. Yeah, it's fine. Look at the trees. Ah, so pretty. Geez. It's gonna be a work day, but that's okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's not working. That's okay. We'll figure it out. But it's not working out whatever. Yeah. There's not a more Minerva thing than when your Wi-Fi doesn't work. So we're just here. <laughs> work, work, and work. It's time for my class to go. I put 
put on a different shirt. <laughs> this is already more effort than I usually put in, so maybe, maybe this vlog will improve my quality of life today. <laughs> So you know that feeling when um, you start working and then you get none of your work done and then you keep trying to work and nothing's working and then you go to the professor's office hours and the professor is all like, oh, you're doing everything wrong and what kind of question is that? Except in like a very polite kind of way where it's, it's more like, like, you know, trying to help you out but like it makes you feel bad. So anyways, now I'm about to go on a train. My brain is too tired, a nap didn't help, so I'm taking a food break before I go back to work. Because we go to Minerva University and when we travel to different countries, we partner with different local schools. We get to go to the cafeteria here, which has food, a full ass meal, for less than two dollars. And mm -hmm. it's pretty good food. It's vegetarian, vegan, yumza, and now- Is that the reason why it's good because it's vegetarian? Yeah. So you get four sides and then you get a shit ton of rice, all for two dollars. Wo an chigo. Chigo, chigo, chigo. Wo an chi. I love eating. Hi, we're here at Mary Jane Pizza. What are we getting, Marta? Pizza. Yes. Surprise. Amazing. <laughs> we are done with our assignment and we are going like to eat and celebrate. <laughs>
So I'm at the Contemporary Art Museum right now. Um, my friend Saad invited me. He likes to go to museums and I always ditch him. And today I was on my assignment, so I decided to say hi to Saad and go to the Contemporary Art Museum. Yes. Of course. I'm going to a pharmacy right now, so basically we have a chemistry assignment and we have to buy like 20 effervescent tablets, drop them in 20 cups of water and then we have to watch them bubble for 30 times. This is how NS majors utilize our $600 health insurance and also we love experimenting with our already deprived mental health medication. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing an experiment for our chemistry assignment. Ah, it's okay. About reactions. So the hotter you are, the more it's perfect chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> Pondering time. Pondering time. We're watching the sunset. Contemplating about our life choices. Wow, okay. Yeah, I wasn't doing that yet, but <laughs> I'll be there in a bit. <laughs> That's very pretty though. As the narrator of this story, I can pretend that I have omniscient perspective and know what Jan is writing in his journal. Here it goes. Dear Diary, I'm at the top of Taipei 101 and the views are stunning. But looking over this entire city, I can't find Allie Hunt. Let's roll it back and see what she was up to today. First, Allie took a train to Tainan and joined her host through a tour of the area. She then met with some school kids and, uh, oh, who am I kidding? I can only imagine what Allie's up to. So I'll let her take on the rest from here. Hey guys, so we just had dinner together with all the students that I'm gonna talk to tomorrow. Uh, we just got some really cool desserts. I tried one, it was super sweet and delicious. Now we're walking around, we just saw a temple. So yeah, really exciting. Ooh, that's what the lanterns say on the temple. This is the largest temple in Tainan. This is where you burn the incense. And this is where you pray. So I just took a pen and wrote down all my wishes. And I'm going to hang it up Hey guys, I just spoke English to some really cute little Taiwanese girls and I'm the first foreigner they've ever met in real life, which is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, a lot of people have been taking pictures of me and just like, they're really shy, but they're really adorable and they love practicing, so it's really nice for me. And it's kind of funny because they think that I don't understand Chinese and so they'll be talking and it's just adorable. Anyways, so I finally arrived to the house. So this is where I'm staying tonight. Really lovely space and they're being so nice to me. In about an hour, we're gonna go eat some fruit together and talk. Um, the two girls here, um, they're studying. So I wish them good luck. I'm gonna go shower and relax and, well not relax, do some pre-work for my 10 p.m. class. Anyways, catch you guys. Hi. Hi! We just ate some yummy fruit and bubbles it's here. Almost empty. Yeah, <laughs> so yummy. It was grown. Was it grown by who? The fruit? It was grown by your uh, uncle. By your uncle? Yeah. Mother. So tasty. Best fruit ever. We love Taiwan. Yay! I just recorded it like 43 minute time lapse standing in that spot. So I guess that's a good representation of what Minervans do every day. Um, I was also hit multiple times by the idea that it's uh, that I should just stop, but then I didn't, so I fell to the sunk cost fallacy multiple times. So uh, I guess I will see if my fallacious behavior was still worth it and the timeless is any good. But now I'm going back down. We're at the best beef noodle place in Taipei. And we ordered food by using our fingers and drawing on notes on the iPhone. Yeah, it's the best place to get a meal after a hard, 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 hard 
okay? The best part about this place is that food here is served by my actual grandma. True story. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there that's her, is. by the way. There she is. Yeah. Where are we, by the way? We are at the NTU Sports Center, and Alan invited us today to play fencing with us. <laughs> I'm at the fencing gym right now and we are being trained how to fence and different kind of attacks and defenses but since it's all in Chinese I really don't understand. downstairs to get to an event that my internship was running that nobody signed up for. We are working on our CCB which is about educating students through We Are about how uh, to, about increasing their social but interactions I, or something like that. I wish I knew what this project that, was about. I don't know. Jesus Christ. Why does this involve oh, a bloody baby? Trigger, trigger. <laughs> It's pretty dead. It's pretty dead. Okay, so look at your left and you're gonna uh, uh, see a question. And now Maggie has decided unanimously with me that we're gonna cut a little bit of my hair. Did you enjoy Andre stroking your hair? Okay, later. I think I enjoy that more than like staying in this position. People always ask me with my hair, right? They ask me, when is the last time when you cut it? And how often do you brush it? And how often do you wash it? And for how long do you wash it usually? And for how long do you brush it, right? Having curly hair is so difficult. And I don't feel like people acknowledge that enough. Like, yeah, pearls are really, really cool. But they take so much time and effort. We are going to the breakfast place. Yeah, this is the NS crew and the imposter. <laughs> so we're gonna go eat. Bye! Yeah, and it's a good break from just studying, you know? Because usually we just have class uh, and then study for a lot of hours during uh, late night. But having that like 30 minute break, which is like go eat and hang out, it's actually very nice. So it's 12 a.m. here. This is uh, the scallion baked bun. This is proof that Libya knows oh, yeah, Chinese. Of course, of course yeah. I do. Yeah. Or is pretending he knows Chinese? No, she does know everything on the bed. Yes, look how many houses. Yeah. Think about it. Why would they employ me here if I didn't speak Chinese, right? This, yeah. is, this, is, this is how you write in Chinese cheese. Mm, I didn't know that. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> See this paper tissue? It's here, right? Oh, no. I'm already like... And now I'm just like... Wow. <laughs> It is time for bed. It is almost midnight. And I have to wake up tomorrow at 6.30. We're learning to bike. Yay. Like a responsible, sustainable human. Woo. And you're doing an amazing job. Nara told me she doesn't know how to bike and she does know how to bike. Like it's not, like we need to work on like breaking and stopping and getting off. <laughs> That's but, basically everything. <laughs> no, you know how to like go and bike and almost not crash then. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It's actually Shout out to Libby. Shout out to Libby. There is something so interesting in the reality of being a Minerva student because you have these like incredible, incredible moments and you also have so, so much work that like the, the two kind of clash 
in this very strange way where I just had like the loveliest conversation for the past hour. And then immediately after, it's 11 p.m. right now, right? And you like, now now I have, now I have two hours of work. Like you, you have these massive gives and takes and it's like, I had such a lovely day at the cost of now I have so much work to do. Um, and so I, I guess now it's work time again at 11 p.m. Uh, and you know what? Then tomorrow we'll do it all again. See you next. Lesson learned, we live and learn. But now I'm practicing and I think we're making progress. So I'm gonna play this thing and hopefully I don't mess up too much. We got a little bit. My teeth are so shiny because of this lighting. That's so funny. Um, okay. Today too, I am getting a cake and it's the birthday of our classmate and we're gonna surprise them at 12. Hopefully the cake survives till the end of this journey because these pavements are not at. And now it's time to check for the damage done to the cake. Oops. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And also we have been developing developing a new addiction lately, gambling. which is gambling. So now every day after we go have breakfast, we gamble for like one hour or two. Today we came back at 3 a.m. We we're gambling. And by gambling, what do you mean? Claw machines. <laughs> <laughs> You're addicts.